the news just coming in the enforcement directorate is raiding former goa chief minister digambar kamath's residence and offices in the bribery case uh, raids are going on in five locations now we're joined by tejas mehta on the phone line for more on this tejas take us through what's happening yesterday he got anticipatory bail but now of course raids across his offices and residences well that's right uh, even as we speak now uh, raids are being carried out in five different locations in goa uh, and they are raiding uh, these areas which are all connected to former goa chief minister digambar kamath who also is sitting uh, congress mla now uh, the raids are in connection with the louis Uh, Berger bribery scandal in which uh, Digambar Kamath is accused of uh, taking a, 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 a kickback, a bribe of 1.2 crore rupees uh, in return uh, for you know granting this uh, this uh, this uh, project to water and sewage project to the you know Louis Berger uh, company and also to the larger consortium which was connected with the project itself and which had bid for it. Uh, he of course denied the allegations, but the raid on at this point of time. I did speak to some sources in Goa and they have confirmed that it is. is being carried out along with the uh, uh, the goa police it's at four different locations in uh, the capital of panjim and one of uh, the raids is taking place in madgaon which is where uh, the gambar kamath hails from that's where he lives uh, now they what they are looking for is they told us are financial documents uh, which are connected uh, with uh, uh, the project itself and also uh, some of some of the files have gone missing uh, because of which uh, section 201 of destroying evidence also has been put against mr digambar kamath so they are looking for all these files if they can find during this raid or not uh, we of course did ask them if there is any chance of uh, him being arrested by the enforcement directorate and not uh, Uh, by uh, the goa police because yesterday uh, the anticipatory bail was granted to him and sources at this point of time say uh, it is unlikely he will be arrested or arrested but further further embarrassment in fact yesterday the goa a uh, goa court had granted him anticipatory bail on technical ground saying that the, the investigating officer had not laid down all the reasons uh, in the case diary as to why they wanted to uh, arrest digambar kamath because he was coming for questioning he was not a flight risk who would escape the country so why what was the need uh, to arrest him and that the goa court felt uh, the, the investigating investigating officer had not spelled right. out in the case diary or before the court but the court also said that this does not seem to be a case of political vendetta by the bjp against uh, the gambar kamath because they are from different parties because this entire case emanated from the united states where the company louis berger has themselves accepted that yes these bribes were given to various ministers in different countries and two of them right. were also in in goa Okay. All right, Tejas. Thanks very much for joining us with those details. Of course, uh, news just coming in as Tejas was saying. The enforcement directorate is raiding the former Goa Chief Minister Digambar Kamath's residence and office uh, at several locations, five locations to be accurate. And of course, the court yesterday is saying it's not politically motivated, even though he got anticipatory bail on technical grounds.